Is this the girl? That has to be the girl. All right, the fossils are in place. You can do it, Celebi. I believe in you. She has a Celebi? You did it. I'm so proud of you. This is definitely not that girl. If this is one of the trainers, I'm definitely going to lose this Nuzlocke. Anyway, what are you doing down here? Determine the trainer's goal. Oh, it is her. She has a Celebi. That is the girl. Oh my gosh. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose this Nuzlocke right now. What's going on, United Family? United Gamer here. And welcome, everyone, to another episode of the Pokemon Insurgents Nuzlocke. How are you beautiful people doing? Hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. In the previous episode, everybody, we took on some cultists here in the game. We made it out alive, and we have not had a single death. I know it's only episode three, but I am proud to say that, and I'm sure it's going to change, maybe be even today if you guys are enjoying this series and want to start seeing it every single day daily uploads be sure to show that united family love and smack that like button we hit the like goal so far and i appreciate it so much the support on this series is already amazing thank you guys so much i was a little bit nervous you know because the main thing i do is randomize your nuzlocke extreme randomizers and this is just a regular playthrough and a nuzlocke but you guys have been coming through with all that support and even if you played the game and watched somebody else play it you're still wanting to watch it and that means so much to me but comic go of the day answered this to have your chance to be nicknamed a Pokemon on this journey. Whenever we're playing through this game and we get into new, you know, routes and new towns especially, it, do you want me to look around and explore everywhere? You know, maybe go inside buildings and talk to people and look around, maybe find some items, learn more about the game and whatnot, or do you want me to just go pretty much straight forward? I'm going to explore at least a little bit, but how much I do it can depend on how much you guys want to see that. I want to, you know, enjoy this game for what it is, and also thank you for letting me know there is a speed up button. Everybody he was like, Dylan, there actually is a speed up button in this game. I, okay, well, there wasn't in Uranium. Or if there was, and I played that entire game without a speed up button, I am a little bit pissed because some of that was took forever and it could have been shortened a lot faster. I have some repels, but what's the really point in doing that when you got a speed up button and you don't run into a lot of Pokemon? So, yes, we still have three Pokemon on the team. Our boy Spyro is our main one, though. The other ones really have not really been used at all. So, maybe today that'll change. We don't have an EXP share or something. Which, uh, also, if there is an EXP share in this game, which I'm sure there is, can you let me know on how to get it? <laughs> that would be awesome. So I can help train up my other members. Because Spyro, I'm really trying to get uh, him to evolve. And then we can move on. I think that's where we need to go. What's over here, though? Actually, I've already been over here, and I grabbed some a hard zone, I think, because I was training uh, for those cultists in the last episode. I remember now. All right, so I think we go through here, because it wouldn't let me before. Okay, so this is still Shade Force, so we cannot get any encounter. Actually, never mind. Route 1, baby. Let's go. Okay, so Route 1, this is a new encounter right here. Uh, even though we do have the speed up button, guys, I'm not going to just be, you know, going everywhere with the speed up button, even though it does look really nice and smooth, honestly. I want to see what our encounter is right here. A Ponyta, we don't have a fire type, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, that is type coverage, I like this. Alright, now let's go ahead and, um, let's go with a twister. It shouldn't be able to do anything to us. I'll even speed it up a little bit. That See, this kind of stuff I will speed up. It's really no point in not speeding it up. There we go, that's perfect. Don't burn me or anything. What did I just say, game? I gotta stop saying that because I always jinx myself. Now I have to go all the way freaking back. Actually, no, I don't. I have a burn heal. Do I want to use that or do I want to run all the way back? I don't know how close we are to a new town, and I might need a burn hill for a battle. All right, one, two, three. Ponyta, welcome to the team. All right, so now we got a fire type on the team, so that's really nice to have. Uh, but yeah, but I'm not going to speed up too much. You know, random battles if it's really long. I say that now. I always say, yeah, I'm not going to speed up. But then I end up speeding up everything. I'm going to try not to speed up the best I can. A Ponyta is very weak at birth. It can barely stand up. Its legs become stronger as it stumbles and falls while trying to keep up with its parent. That is our beast right here. And I believe it's going to come through in our team. I will be right back, though, to nickname this Ponyta after one of you guys. Super Saiyan Pikachu said probably in certain just because this game is so long and fun. If you pick me, please name the Pokemon Zwaldo. Also, Poison leaves you at 1 HP. I learned a lot from you guys in the last episode, but that's nice to know. And I wasted potions in the last episode as well. But Zwaldo, welcome to the team right now. A nice fire type, so that's really good. And I... Uh, oh, did he... I thought he saw me or something because he made that little jump thing. All right, let me go to my bag really quick. Actually, I think that was Charmander that jumped, wasn't it? Let me use my burn heal. I guess I'm going to do it. And if I get burned again, I'll just have to run back. But if he, if he get burns again in battle, that's really going to hurt us. I really need an EXP share, though. See, I'm already speeding stuff up. I'm telling you. I'm so bad. My trigger finger's really so bad with speeding stuff up. 
But like this, like these little battles, I don't think you guys would mind me speeding this up. That's gonna be like comic question number two. Answer either one of these. Uh, do you mind me like speeding up battles like this? Or do you want me to actually sit around here and, you know, battle them? If it's a challenging battle, you know, and I'm gonna have to think it through and stuff, then yeah, I will. Oh, it's a fairy type. Actually, they have fairy type in this name uh, in this game. I didn't know that. All right, that's that's pretty dang cool. I didn't know that. All right, so fairy type. I should have assumed though. I didn't know when this game really came out, but I should assume that was in this game. Oh god, then that's that's actually pretty scary. Um, let me try. Let me try to put it to sleep. We did not land. <laughs> Jigglypuff, of course, isn't gonna go to sleep. It's always the one putting people to sleep. There we go. Well, seeing that you're actually a normal and fairy type, I guess we're gonna have to switch out and go to... Gosh, I don't have anything for this. I could maybe heal up Zwaldo. I guess that's what I could do. Um, let me see. Shoot. I don't... I don't... Whoa, 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 no, no, no. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, uh, let's go with the potion. I might as well heal it up. Um, Zwaldo, let's go. That's about all I really can do. And, you know, being Fire-type, maybe not might know anything. I'm gonna put it to sleep one more time. I'm gonna try it. It's not gonna work. It doesn't have anything for me. There we go. We put it to sleep. Let's go ahead and go over to Zawaldo. Already getting used, my boy. You're level 11, too, so you're nice level right now. Um, no, I don't want to switch out. Let's go ahead. You do know Ember. Sweet. Thank God you know already a move. All right. It shouldn't be able to do anything to me. Can we burn it, please? That would be awesome. I'm using special attack move. Doesn't matter. There we go. There's my burn. And the disarming force is literally going to do nothing. Okay, so we're going to kill this thing. There we go. Good job, Zwaldo. You're already getting used, my dude. Already being useful to the team. I didn't think about that. With uh, Charmander not knowing any moves besides uh, a dragon type, we really got to start training him up. I don't mind using the speed up with running around, though, because it's not too fast, and it almost looks like a sprint. And it's actually, like, a little bit faster sprint. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and use Twister again. Not going to do anything. Got the flinch, too. Let's go. All right, I'm trying to get him to level 16 as fast as possible. A Krabby. I'm always, I'm always like flinching because I always just assume he's still a, uh, a fire type. Uh, but he's not. He's Ghost and Dragon, which is freaking awesome. He looks so cool, though. But they all honestly looked cool. Uh, I want to see what they all look like in the end, though, because I have never seen them before. I've seen a... Because I saw Munching Orange, like a thumbnail before, do this before with a game. And uh, I saw the bubble sword up front. I think that's what he started with, if I'm not mistaken, because I saw it in the thumbnail. That's how I've seen the Delta Pokemon before. A Porygon. Uh, let's go ahead and use Twister. Sharpen. All right, you shouldn't really know anything for me right now. Psybeam. We're good, though. There we go. Level 16, finally. Spyro, you better evolve right here. Once I learn Shadow Sneak, there we go. Learning a different move. We will get rid of... I have Scratch, but yeah, we'll get rid of Scratch. Why not? Get rid of Scratch. And, uh, what else you got? A Buizel, um... Let's see, Jay, can you do... Jay, I just... I wish you knew better moves, Jay. I just don't think... I can't see you being on the team. Even though people did let me know we can get a Gengar without having to, like, trade like normal. Uh, so that's really cool. In some kind of city that we can do that. But alright, Spyro, are you gonna evolve right here, my guy? There we go, baby! Let's see what Charmeleon looks like. Oh, look at the evolution! just spins! That's pretty dang dope! Oh, man. All right, so we got our Charmeleon. What you gonna look like, dude? You gonna look beastly? And then we need, a, we need another good mod. Like, Ponytail's good and all. Yo! That looks so freaking awesome! That that looks so good. Like, a lot of people don't like Charmeleon's evolution between, like, you know, they love Charmander, love Charizard, they don't like the in-between one. But that looks awesome. I am not gonna lie. That looks so dang cool. It, lo it reminds me of the Gaping Dragon from Dark Souls 1, if you've ever played that game. Uh, like a little baby version. But he has Spirit Call still. Spyro looking mighty fine out here on the team. Uh, let's head on up here. Let's see. Well, I I'll battle as many trainers as I need to right now. I love how smooth the speed up button is. It's not too fast, too. Uh, God, even his sprite, like, here looks awesome. Why do you gotta poison me? Why do you gotta poison me? I gotta kill it anyway. I'm gonna kill it. Right, the poison's gonna hurt me right here. I don't... I, at least I know that I can make it to the Pokemon Center with one HP. At least I know that now. I should've used Ponytail right there, honestly. Spinarak, uh, let's go over to Zwaldo. We need Zwaldo to get as much experience as what he can, too. I definitely need other members on my team besides Charmander. Or Charmeleon now, actually. All right, let's go ahead and use it. one more Ember. One more Ember. We're going to be good. That's not going to be enough experience. I wish I would I should have fought him. Because uh, he got a level 12 right there. Dang it. Do I have any antidotes? I don't think I do. 
I do I have five my god all right I did stack up in the last episode I am definitely playing over overly careful but I think that's gonna maybe help me out and maybe somehow win this thing I know it's gonna get extremely challenging but I'm gonna do so much training that I have to do to make sure I try to win this oh, okay men town I made it to a new town sweet this is where we're supposed to be if I'm not mistaken uh, I'm pretty sure this is where Damien told us to go let's go inside here see I want to explore a little bit and see what's all in the town I came from the far away Johto region back in those days. We only use, uh, we only just discovered the Dark and Steel type. That's so cool! That throwback to Gen 2! It's incredible how far we've come now. Yeah, I mean, freaking Mega Evolution, Z moves, Fairy types. We've came a long way. Trade Pokemon. I'll trade a, I'll trade you my Ghastly for a Durant or a Heatmore. No, 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 no. I think I'm good. Uh, I, I actually already have a Ghastly, so I definitely don't need that. I love how people just let you go into their house, too. Give me a little, and I can just steal this dude's great ball. <laughs> He's just up here chilling, and I'm stealing it. It's really hard to specialize in more than one uh, Pokemon type because of that. People like me choose one to excel in. No, it's not really that uh, difficult. You know, it's very nice. It's actually easier on your journey if you have multiple types. But whatever floats your boat, my dude. All right, let's go ahead and heal up. Uh, when can I buy super potions? Can I buy those soon? I have like no money right now. That's another reason I need to battle everybody that I possibly can. Is I have like no money and I need super potions. Still can't buy them. I got 3,000 through that forest. That's not bad. I have a lot of potions, but I, super potions are where I really need for these battles. Uh, where am I supposed to go? We're supposed to like find... Alright, what are you blocking? It's like freaking Diamond and Pearl guy out here, the clown. What's up? Call me the Pixie, uh, the Pika Taxi guy. My taxi for the low cost of 500 will get you wherever you need to go. As long as you've been there before, that is. If you use my stuff, so it's like a, a little fly version. That's really cool. Um, well, I don't really need to go anywhere. I need to be here. I'm supposed to find, like, some trainer school, I think. Whatever the trainers are, or Damien is. Is it? Yo, can I just have this floatzel right here? It's holding leftovers. Yo, I got some leftovers. Let's go. That's what I'm saying. See, so you look around, and you find stuff like this. That is very beneficial. Uh, let me go ahead and give that to my boy Spyro out front. Very, definitely beneficial for us. Um, Spyro's happy traveling with you. I'm glad. It's incredible, all the clothes you can buy in the Tauren region. I got a fancy beret uh, from the Sun-Touched City Pokemon. Oh, so we can actually change our clothes and stuff. That is so freaking cool. Which, I mean, I guess I could have already guessed that since we changed into a Darkrai uh, outfit or whatever whenever we were disguised as one of them with Mew. Uh, what is this statue of? Oh, is that the Augur? The second Augur or the first Augur? Let's go over here. This looks promising. This definitely looks... Oh, this definitely looks promising. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Yes, let's go. Where is that girl? Where could she have gone off to now? We can't start without her. Do I gotta go find some girl now? Uh, what am I? What am I here to do? I'm new in the town, but I'm still gonna help. Why, well, hello there. Welcome to Men Town Trainer School. I'm the teacher here. I'm hoping to raise young boys and girls to become expert battlers and even better citizens. If you take classes here, I'll be happy to teach you what I know. Would you like to sign up? Are we supposed to? I mean, sure. I guess I don't know if I'm supposed to or not. We're actually about to start a tournament between our students. Uh, stu students? Really, Dylan? You've been out of school for like two days and you're already messing up with that? If you want to join, <laughs> it would be a great way to practice and improve. Obviously, I don't work very well with English. Uh, unfortunately, one of our students, Nora, seems to have gone missing. We can't start the tournament without her, so I'm afraid we'll have to wait. Or uh, you'll have to wait. Okay. I mean, I'm fine with that. I'll go find her. Where the heck is Damien? He's supposed to be like... Here, show me what I'm supposed to be doing and stuff. How am I supposed to just know on my own journey? What's oh, there's a great boy down there. Midna Mine. Is this an encounter right here? Is this Nora? Oh no, it's a battle. <laughs> All right, I thought it was Nora. You know, she might have just you know got lost in this dark cave. Ace trainer Donatello out here has a timber. Okay, well that's actually pretty perfect for Spyro. Let's just go ahead and use some twisters. Actually, I have Shadow Sneak and stuff too now. Eventually, that that's really nice to have. Alright, easy. Let's go with the Krikata. Um, I am gonna go over to Zwaldo. The only two members I'm really gonna try to train right now are Zwaldo and, um, our, our starter, uh, Charmeleon. Just because- Oh, bye. It's kind of scary. Let's make sure we get it out of there. Thank God. Okay. Whew. Got a little bit nervous. I could've switched over to Charmeleon, though. We've been okay. A Chikorita. There we go. Perfect experience for Zwaldo. I definitely think we got the right kind of Pokemon in that, uh, route. Unless there is a better Fire-type Pokemon out there. Uh, I never really used Pony Tower Rapidash, um, but it's still a good mon. Let's see, what do we got here? Is that an escape rope? It is an escape rope, but I like how the items actually look like that. You know, they're not 
uh, in a Pokeball. That's really cool. All right, you look like you're definitely going to have uh, either Fighting type or Rock type Pokemon. Let's see, a Soul Rock. Oh, uh, let's just gonna keep you out here. Don't want to risk anybody else. The Rock Throw is a little bit scary. Uh, that definitely did some damage. We got the flinch off. Let's go, baby. Our boy Spyro is so good. We got another flinch. Come on, Spyro. Let's go. It's because you're my childhood favorite, isn't it? A Lunatone. As much, I just I just don't want to put that out there with Zwaldo. I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep Spyro out here. Which Spyro getting all these levels, getting really high level, is definitely gonna be beneficial. I think that Psy Wave. Is a little bit scary. Let's just go with a Shadow Sneak. I don't know why I didn't start off with that. Rock throw again. Yo, I'm so glad I found this leftovers. Let's go, baby. That's so fortunate for us. I am like so hungry right now. I just got done recording two Ultra Sun episodes, and I'm still supposed to go Christmas shopping today. And I am like three hours behind. Uh, but I don't care. I I'm here battling anyway, playing. I didn't want it in the episode. I didn't want it. It's my boy! I didn't want to end the episode off or end the day off without recording this series and getting it up today. But it's my boy, Alex. Where can I find a Riolu? That's not a spoiler. If somebody can let me know where to find a Riolu, you will make me so happy. Please let me know in the comment section below. I, I, that's not really a spoiler. I don't care about you telling me where to get Pokemon or items and stuff. Just a story. It's all I care about is not learning about. I cannot believe... Uh, there's a real do right there. I mean, what if we could get one in this cave? Maybe we can get one really early on. We need a fighting type. Fighting and steel type. That would be really good. Uh, we'll go with shadow sneak, I guess. That'll give it a damage. We gotta be careful, careful uh, with this. I knew it was fairy and stuff. I just didn't expect to do that much damage, which it really didn't. Uh, Spyro's okay. A Swirlix. I am gonna go over to Zwaldo. I need to switch over to Zwaldo whenever it's a fairy type or if I'm super effective. Uh, like on a grass or bug or, you know, something like that. We got the burn off early on. That's nice. Lowering my special defense is a little bit nervous. Uh, make, a little bit nerve-wracking. Um, come on. Come on, Zwaldo. They had it off. Wow, okay. It's lowering everything, but it doesn't do anything to me. All right, Swirlix. That's going to be some good experience for my boy Zwaldo, level 13. Learning Flame Will. Let's go, baby. I forgot when you learned that. Let's get rid. Tackle Max should be pretty good. Actually, no. We'll get rid of Tackle. We don't, we don't need that. We really don't even need Ember. You know, you're a physical attacker. If, if I'm not mistaken, I'm almost certain you're a physical attacker. So, how have we not had an encounter here? Like, I'm so confused how we not had an encounter. Or is there not any encounters in here? Let me go ahead and heal up Spyro. And we'll keep moving on. I want to battle as many people as I can. Because I don't know what level they're going to be at for that uh, tournament. And I want to make sure I'm okay. A Growlithe. Um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and use a Shadow Sneak right here. Did a good bit of damage. Lower my defense. There shouldn't be anything you really know how to do. There we go. Growlithe gone and a Ponyta. Ponyta against Ponyta, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. What level is it? I need Zwaldo to start getting some leveling up. Spyro's already a pretty high level. Oh, man. Let's, let's, does that have Flash Fire? I don't remember. It does have Flash Fire. Okay, so I don't have Tackle anymore, so never mind. Let's go back over to Spyro. I actually just forgot. I really thought I kept Spy uh, Tackle. That's what I was about to use. But all right, let's go ahead and use a Shadow Sneak. Our boy Spyro is getting really nice high level, so that's really good. I think we're over level, but I'm okay with that. As long as I can win this series, that's all I need. That is all I need. All right, got some experience there. Uh, Litleo, I'll just keep Spyro out here just because it keeps using fire types anyway. Oh, yeah, it's actually normal on fire type. What am I thinking here? All right, um, let's definitely go with a Twister then. I hope you don't have anything. My defense is really low. I gotta. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna switch. I'm not risking it. He's probably gonna go for a fire type move. But my defense has really been lowered, and so I don't know what he might know. Does you? Do you don't? Do you have flash fire? No. Okay. That did some damage. I might actually just keep you out here. His attack is really high. If you know a good. Oh god. Gosh, Zwaldo! We already lost Zwaldo. Oh, that sucks, man. I saw that coming, too. I was like, if you know a good normal-type move, you're going to die. I don't know why I just used that again. I didn't mean to do that. And Because your attack is through the roof right now. I definitely should have switched. It wouldn't have affected Spyro. I just... Dang it, that's so frustrating. That is so frustrating. I'm honestly just, like, really salty about this. I'm just going to get on out of here. I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center, guys. I will see you there in just a second. Yeah, the PC looks really dang cool in this game. I am so sorry there... Ponyta, I feel so bad that we just lost you. That's my own stupid self. I I knew he was going to do some damage if he had a good normal typing move, but I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. I'm going to have to look around for a little bit 
And, uh, I don't know if you're past- you might be back in this old route, I don't know. Alright, I don't know if she's supposed to be in here. We're gonna battle this chick right here. We might as well keep moving on. I don't know. Are there no encounters here in this place? Because I keep not running anything. And see, now I can't even go over to a fire site for this. And I have to just eat these fairy winds, and that's really terrifying. Because if I ever run into a fairy type now, like like a fairy and normal type of that Jigglypuff, I don't have any move to attack it with, and that's really scary. I don't know what I'm really- I need a, I need a good mon here, but apparently you don't get one here in the cave, where I haven't run into one yet, and that's really good. I don't know why I'm doing that, it's normal type. Um, my, ma my brain's all frazzled because of what just went down. I cannot believe we just lost Ponyta. Will you please land the hit? I know its evasiveness is very high right now. Alright, that's that's actually going to be a little bit of a troublesome if you don't land. There we go, one more. All I need to do is one more time. There we go, good job, Spyro. You gotta listen to your owner. Your little trainer right here has got you, my dude. Always going to protect you. Um, I'm guessing she's deep in this cave. Oh, an encounter! Let's go, baby! A Zubat. A Zubat. A Zubat is her encounter. Alright, well... Um... I don't even know if I can hit this thing. I'm going to try. Alright, we did. It's got bite. I mean, hey, that's super effective on me, but I, I have Pokeballs and stuff, right? Uh, I do. Okay, let's go ahead and throw a Great Ball. It's probably going to catch it pretty easily. One, two, three, Zubat. <laughs> Alright, well, that's our encounter here. I don't know why it took me that long to get an encounter. I didn't have any repels on. Um, I don't know, but I'll be right back to nickname this Pokemon after one of you guys. Mighty Ant 43 said you can evolve evolutions before the third gym uh, through an NPC. You can also speed up by holding M. When I did the Nuzlocke other game, that Pat Rot actually destroyed my uh, Charmander and Ghastly. So you're pretty lucky with that first flinch. Could you name a Pokemon Andrew? I know that wasn't really the comment question, but any comment like that, uh, I'll definitely still nickname too or look to nickname. Uh, so we're going to name this guy Andrew. Andrew, I don't need to sleep on Zubat. You know, Crobat's good, and I just learned that, you know, we can still get him and stuff with friendship. Shouldn't be that hard to do. Uh, what else could we have? Why am I getting encountered so easily now? I don't know if my game was like glitched or something, but I walked around forever and didn't get any. Oh, we're gonna battle you. Okay, I thought maybe you might heal me or something. I don't know. See, there we go. I need my fire sight for this stinking Pokemon right here. Why do you gotta paralyze me? I'm not healed either, so that, I gotta be a little bit careful. Uh, and I'm confused now. Spyro is coming through though. That's fine. I'm already paralyzed. Go ahead. Spyro is doing so dang good. He's like my only mon, though, Emolga, so you're a pure electric trainer. I mean, I don't have anything else on my team to really use. The Zubat, I guess. I don't really need the Ghastly, the Gengar. I just know I'm going to end up losing this series if I only go into this trying to use uh, Spyro. I know I will. Even though he'll be superly overleveled, you know, we're going to go against something super effective on us and we're going to die. Uh, Pachirisu. I got to start training some other mons. Axtron, I don't really know if I'm going to train him up. Um, I don't know. I need another. I need. I just need one good Pokemon to stand out, like a Growlithe to get an Arcanine to find a Firestone pretty easily, or something like that. That is what I need. Uh, that would be perfect for me. And then like a really good. I wish I got that Cubone and a Marowak, and maybe found a you know got a thick club and stuff too. That'd have been so like perfect for us. Patrisa, you are being such a nuisance right now. Honestly, like I don't even know why I'm not using Twister. Twister will kill you so much faster since you've lowered my attack. Um, there we go. You're dead. You're dead. Uh, let's keep moving on, though. And I'm hoping you're at the end of this cave. Unless I just came through here and did nothing. Alright. Uh, maybe I should probably heal, though. Nose pass. That would have been pretty good. Uh, let me heal. Because I don't want to risk anything. Do I have any paralyzed heals? I do not. I'm a little bit nervous with just keeping that. I am going to fully heal you, though. Spyro, you're my only mon to keep carrying me through this. Is this the girl? That has to be the girl. All right, the fossils are in place. You can do it, Celebi. I believe in you. She has a Celebi? Move these fossils to the time. Use uh, Tesseract. You did it. I'm so proud of you. This is definitely not that girl. If this is one of the trainers, I'm definitely going to lose this Nuzlocke. I can't believe it. All of our hard work has finally paid off. Our motto, Bestiodon, Kabudops, Almastar. Who would ever thought they'd see the light of day again? You can turn them back now, Celebi. I think we're done for the day. Can't believe how far we've... Who are you? How much did you see? Pretty much the whole thing. Look, I don't know who you are, but you can't tell anyone about this. I'd be a grave danger. All right, you can give me a fossil, and then we'll we'll be subtle over there. Yo, it's Mew again. Is that? Could it be? You were chosen by Mew? I thought I was the only one. But if you were also chosen, then I should probably explain. 
Not many people know about it, but a long time ago there was a prophecy written about Torin. Nobody knows it word for word, but it talks about the cults and the auger. It said that a trainer chosen by one of the legendary Pokemon would be the one to find and defeat the cult. It also said that a legendary would be an illusionary one, you know, like Mew, Victini, and Hoopa. When they found out, the cults wanted to rid the world of that trainer. People were terrified. Nobody knew who this hero was, and they feared he or she might have disappeared, or might never appear. But then the first Augur came, and he protected us. He was incredible. He took out half the cults on his own, but he disappeared a year ago. People think this prophecy, prophecy was about him because he was friends with Hoopa, a legendary Pokemon. But he's gone now. Nobody knows where he is. The second Augur has taken his place, and I don't think he was chosen by anyone. That's why I can't let anyone know about Celebi. I'm afraid they'll come after me. I have to train down here in secret. I mean, I don't think I'm a hero of the prophecy, but if Mew chose you, then the prophecy could be either of us. There might even be others. You can't let anyone know that Mew has chosen you. Actually, how did- well, I mean, I assume they already know because the Dark Ride Cult captured me. And I assume they were gonna kill me too, so I guess they knew. I don't know. It hasn't joined your team yet, has it? That's probably why it's concerned that if it does, you might become a target. I don't care! Give me Mew right now! Give me Mew right now! So be careful from now on. We're too uh, valuable to risk. But anyway, what are you doing down here? Determine the trainer's goal. Oh, it is her! The she has a Celebi! That is the girl! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose this Nuzlocke right now. That is a girl. She just summoned Celebi out here to turn these fossils into Pokemon. Yeah, we're, we're done for. We are straight done for. It's a good way to train and learn about battling, and I need- You and I both need to know all the training we can get. I'll meet you up there. Nope, nope, no I'm not. Can I have these fossils? Oh, can I have all of these? Bro! Oh, I just hit the jackpot! Let's go! When, I, when can I get- when can I, like, turn these into Pokemon? Oh, that's cool. The little Manaphy thing up there. Um, but what <laughs> can I actually turn all these into Pokemon? That is so freaking cool. I don't even know if I want to turn on. I don't even know if I want to do this tournament right now. I, I'm a little bit nervous, but I feel like we haven't done anything. We've been like running around a lot. It might be a longer episode, but that's okay. That's all right. I don't know. I need to hurry and edit though, and I need to eat and stuff. <laughs> oh, I have an escape rope. I have an escape rope. Let's go. Just remembered I got one of those. So yeah, I have all of these. When can I turn these into Pokemon? It better be soon because I really want to train them up. Let me go just sprint on over here and uh, heal my Pokemon up. So I I don't know if I want to turn on this. I don't know if I want to take on this uh, trainer school right now. I think we might lose. I'm I'm a little bit nervous. I might end it right now because I probably should do some off cam training. Because if I have a Dark type Pokemon with like bite and stuff, and they come at my Spyro, we're done. We're done. But I'll go ahead, head on in here. Might as well. Let's do it. Hurry up! Are you gonna join or not? I have to battle all of these? That's a lot of training to do. Actually, yeah. That'll take a long time. I want to make sure the episode gets up today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry that I'm ending the episode off now. We already had our first death. Our ponytail went down. Our team is okay. It's not that great. I'm not even going to lie. Spyro is like the only thing we have. I got to do some off-cam training uh, before I go on. I, I have to. I know we're going to lose in the next episode if I don't. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and join the United Family today. You can find me on all kinds of social media links, Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. All that can be found in the description below. But as always, everybody, this is not just a channel. It is a family, and I cannot wait to see you in the next episode. I'm out.